Today, we'll take a look at how to easily censor stationary or moving objects in video. All this can easily be done in Final Cut Pro without the need to download or install any plugins. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Serge, and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Final Cut Pro does have a built-in sensor effect, but I'm not a big fan of it. It just doesn't give you enough control. The method I'll show you today is just as easy as using the sensor effect, but this method lets you be much more precise and gives you unlimited options of what the sensored area looks like. Let's jump into Final Cut Pro and get started. The first thing you need to do is make a copy of your clip and layer it right above the original. The easiest way to do this is you just hold down the Option key and drag straight up to make a copy of your clip. Make sure it lines up perfectly with the original clip. Next. Open the effects browser and select the effect you want for your censored area. Apply this effect to your top clip. Select the masks category and depending on the shape of the area you want to censor, either add a shape mask or a draw mask. I'm going to censor the license plate in my demo clip, which is a rectangle, so I'll choose a shape mask and drag and drop it over my top clip. Adjust the control points to cover the area you want to censor. Zoom in on the viewer window if necessary. Dragging the green control points will adjust the height and width of your mask equally on both sides. The white control point in the top left corner adjusts the curvature of your mask, and the outside ring adjusts the feather amount. If you need to adjust just a specific side of your mask, hold down the Option key while dragging one of the control points. Next, if your subject moves throughout the clip, you need to keyframe this mask. Head up to the video inspector and add a keyframe to the radius and all the transform parameters. Move your playhead a few frames ahead and reposition and resize your mask. Do this for your entire clip. Here's what we have so far. Now, the nice thing about doing it this way is if you decide you want to use a different effect for censoring, it's very easy to do. If we decide instead of using a blur effect, we want a pixelator subject, all you have to do is go up to the video inspector, disable the blur effect, and from the effects browser, add the pixelate effect. Since our clip is already masked and keyframed to follow the subject, whatever effect you add will only be applied inside this mask. Nice and simple, and you don't need to download or buy any plugins. If you found this video helpful, let me know in the comments below. And if you're new here, make sure to check out the rest of my channel for more helpful tips like this one. New videos uploaded every week, so please subscribe. Thanks for watching, I'll see you back here next week.